We believe it's one of the first buildings of its generation. It has a metabolic skin, which responds to environmental conditions on the exterior to basically pursue a low energy cooling strategy for the building. The Public Building Service is the landlord for the federal government. We manage over 350 million square feet of space to house over a million employees. When you look at the building, we're pretty honest about our materials. San Francisco has the most ideal climate to be able to have natural ventilation. When we are cooling off the building to be ready for the next day, the operable windows open so that we can cool off the concrete structure in total. If you can build the tower floors narrow, they're 65 feet wide, you can have access to natural light for everyone. The federal government's going to own and operate that building for at least 75 years. We've been able to show them concretely that they're saving upwards of half a million dollars a year in energy costs. It's a huge savings to the taxpayer. What's driving us is our fundamental mission to create superior workplaces for the federal worker at the best value for the taxpayer. And in terms of setting a standard and sort of leading the way for others, whether it's renovation of our buildings or whether it's our new building construction incorporating green technology and LEED certified systems, the reality is we can drive the market. In our whole career, we're going to produce two dozen, three dozen buildings, and we don't make that much effect on the world. But if it's seen as a prototype that, that spins off more kind of ideas like that, then you realize it actually has huge, huge potential.